Welcome back to Shoe Lights. Today we're going to look at how the anti-reflective coatings on lenses affect the color tint of the beam itself. I went through my C8s because I have a whole bunch of these. I got every single one of them and these all use the same kind of parts. So I felt like, hey, if I could find one that had a different colored coating than another one, I could easily swap them and measure. And as I went through them, I noticed that all my C8s have the same kind of the same kind of magenta looking anti-reflective coating. I know this looks kind of orange right now, but um, it's actually magenta colored. And then I found that just one of them had kind of a bluish green anti-reflective coating. There it is. So take a look at that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these two lenses, these two pieces of glass and see how it affects the Delta UV. I'm going to be using this host right here because this host doesn't have an Osram in it. This host actually has, let's see if we can get some light on it, has a SST20 in it, which is it's SST20 4K, which should be perfect for measuring Delta UV on with the swap. So let's get to it. First, I'm going to just measure it with the stock lens, and this is that magenta kind of uh, reddish lens. And I've got my Siconic here ready to go. So I'm going to position this, and I'm positioning it right on the end here, and I'm gonna position the Siconic on the other end of my mat so that I've got everything the same each time I do this. Let me move that out of the way. And here we go. Okay, so on here, ready, on here, ready, and hit the dead center of it and measure. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I just measured uh, 0 0.003. Now remember that this value will change as the emitter heats up. So let me just do it again, kind of get the heat emitter a little warmer and hit it again. Ah, I got the same value, same value. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bezel off. And I did this before. I started recording. I did this once before, so I know that that glass is going to fall. Let me set this right over here. Okay, and let's take this one off. This one was stuck in, so this one should stay with the bezel. Oh, nope, this one came loose this time. There we go, I got it. All right, now... I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna get on here. Now, as I said, I did do this off camera before we even started rolling, so I already kind of know what the results are gonna be. But the question is, when I take this blue-greenish coatings here, is that gonna affect the Delta UV? And will it do what we expect? And what we expect, right, is that the Delta UV will lower. It'll go towards red, because the coatings are rejecting blue or green. So it should go to the red end or the magenta end. So let's get it's all lined up at the same distance. And let me take a measurement. Negative 34. I, I gotta be honest, I was a little surprised it made this big of a difference. There's been a lot of talk about the coatings making a difference, and I didn't think for a second it would make that much of a difference. A 30-point difference, that's, that's, that's massive. That you'll, you're going to see that with your eye. So there you go. I only did this one. Uh, I've only done the SST20 4000K today, but I thought it was very interesting, and I want to get the information out there. So it looks like all the people that are saying that the coatings matter – it does, and you're going to look for, if you want rosiness, you want the opposite because you want what re what's reflecting the opposite of magenta, so you're going to want green or blue coatings over red or magenta. All right, guys, see you in the next video.